Welcome to Lauren's Adventures Out There. I'm Lauren, obviously, and I'm with Castle of Capes and Clones, where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications, and please do like our program. It really does help us. So it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday, uh, and Mulan, I just watched Mulan on Disney+, Plus, and I tell you, what a great film. I just enjoyed it so much. Uh, you know, for people who are afraid that it's vastly different than the animated film, I, I mean, honestly, it's got all the heart and all the beats of the original film. You know, you have Mulan, uh, who is a little more of a tomboyish figure, and, um, you know, she has to go and make a match to bring honor to the family by getting a husband. And obviously things go wrong there. And then her father is conscripted into the army, just like the animated film. Uh, he's got a bum leg that, uh, you know, it will make it dangerous for him to go uh, to the army. So Mulan takes his place, she goes to the army, she gets there, and uh, there's a little bit of different changes, like uh, Li Shang is kind of divided into two characters. Uh, first of all, there's Commander Tung, who's played by Donnie Yen. Uh, many people would know him as Chirac Bays from Rogue One. And then you have Hong Hui, Chen Hong Hui, who is played by Yong Sun An. And uh, Commander Tong is more the kind of, obviously, commander uh, aspect of Li Shang. And then you have Hong Hui, who is more the romantic interest. On the villain side, instead of Shan Yu, we've got Jason Scott Lee as Bori Khan, the leader of the Rorongs, instead of the Huns. And he's accompanied by a quote-unquote witch, played by Gong Li, by the name of Zhang Lan. And, um, you know, I, I thought that that was the biggest departure from the animated film, and I thought that she was going to bother me. But I actually thought that she was even more compelling than Bori Khan. More, Jason Scott Lee's character was fine, but he was... I, I don't know, a little bit more on the boring side, where she, I thought, was uh, was much more interesting. Uh, this idea of, the, what the film in, introduces is this idea of chi, which is kind of like the force. Well, the force is really based on chi. Uh, it's something that binds all living creatures. Everybody has it. But for some reason, men are the only ones that can display chi, and the women uh, are, who have chi are um, labeled as, as, a, as, this is why I did the air quotes for which, uh, for uh, Jean Lang, is that they're labeled as witches. And so Mulan has that kind of chi as well. And Jian Long is drawn to her because she sees her, you know, she sees her in it herself. But Jian Long's heart grew cold because she was exiled for her, for exuding this chi. So it really wasn't fair for her. Uh, but the, the film basically follows the same thing. You know, and for the people who have... Uh, complaints about Mushu not being in the film. It, he just wouldn't have worked in the film. It just, the film is more of a martial arts epic, and he, he would have changed the tone entirely. So, um, I don't think that he would have worked in the film. So, uh, you know, the phoenix, they have a phoenix in it, but it, it just kind of guides Mulan. Uh, for the ancestors rather than, you know, playing a part. Aside from the story, the cinematography was amazing. Uh, 
uh, you have this beautiful martial arts that was like just beautifully photographed. I mean, I was at the edge of my seat the entire time. And then the magic displayed by Jean Long with the, her with her um, sleeves, and then uh, she would become a falcon, and then different birds. Uh, just really beautifully shot. I just thought that it was a, an amazing thing. And then you have China. Uh, just the majesty of China, and it really, they really captured it in this film. I mean, it was just beautiful all over the place. As for the music, uh, I didn't mind there not being the music in there. They, they uh, you know, had a callback to Reflection in there, and also to Honor to Us All. And then they kind of made reference to I'll Make a uh, Man Out of You, and a girl worth fighting for, so they they had references to those songs as well in the film. I, I just thought that it was beautifully scored. Honestly, to me, this is one of the better remakes for for Disney. I thought that it was really well done, and I, I'm sad that we didn't get to see it on the big screen because, again, going back to the cinematography, it was just so beautiful, and it would have been amazing to see this on the big screen. So, is it worth the twenty nine ninety nine? You know, that's all was going to be up to you. I knew from the very beginning that I was going to buy this film. A lot of it has to do with the fact that I have a lot of family that wants to watch, watch the film. So twenty nine ninety nine is nothing in comparison to taking everybody to the movies. Um, but I, I'm just so excited for the film, you know, and... It was supposed to come out, and then COVID-19 happened uh, literally a week before it was supposed to come out. Uh, everything shut down, and so I just thought it was worth it. You know, I'm going to watch this film a few times, and because uh, I, I really enjoyed it. So, again, it's going to be up to you how excited you are to see this film. Uh, if you have family, I think that it'll be well worth it for you. Who knows when this pandemic is going to be over. So why not enjoy yourself? So anyway, uh, Mulan's a great film. Highly recommend it. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. It's now 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to try to get some sleep. But, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this uh Please subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications, and please like this post. You can always reach us on Twitter at, at CCC Disney Uni, uh, or me personally at, at LoJav, and visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Thanks so much for joining. Bye!